today. Uh, today is a very exciting video because I'm finally getting to this project. It's kind of been a house project that's been pushed to the side as we like finish our office, be on other priorities. But I'm going to try to get this in before our work season gets really busy and it's about time we get it painted. As you can see, this is the focal point of our room. And so we are going to paint it because we're going for more neutral colors in here and this is a very warm tone and it's gonna make the room come together, modernize it a little bit. We're also planning on cutting off these ledges, adding a mantle, and then um, painting the brick, kind of cleaning up the firebox a little bit too. So if you're interested in seeing how we do that, then let's get into it. So this was back when we were refinishing our floors and such, but basically I just wanted to get the old stuff off of the fireplace and clean up the firebox so that it was ready when we would work on it in the future. And my sister Mariah was here and she was helping me out with that. And then pretty much it sat for a few months as we refinished the floors and got our office done and moved in and stuff. So this was a few months later and this is what we were working with as a before. So to start the process, we wanted to remove these bricks and the brick has a very specific brake pattern on it. So Joel tried to imitate that as much as possible when he cut them off and we actually matched it pretty good. I was impressed. to vacuum up all the debris because it got everywhere and it was actually sitting on the ledges of the stone so I wanted to make sure I cleaned that off really good. And then I went and took this heat resistant spray paint and sprayed the inside of the firebox with it. I made sure to vacuum it really good but other than that I just sprayed it because I just wanted it the same color and it actually worked out pretty well. Next, I'm going through and I'm washing all the brick because it was really dirty and if you look really closely you can see how stained it really is. But I really wanted the paint to stick really well to this and it had quite a bit of powder still on it from cutting off those bricks. So I went through and I washed it all really good and then I let it dry for a day or two I think just to make sure that we didn't deal with any moisture when we painted. This primer came highly recommended from the people at Home Depot. I guess it's a primer that sticks to almost anything. So I felt really good about this choice as a primer to just prep the paint first. And it's also a stain blocker so that any stains in the brick wouldn't affect the final color we put on the fireplace.
it was so amazing to finally see the orange and the dirtiness just fade away as I painted this white to just get a fresh new look on the fireplace. These are the brackets for the mantle that we chose and so Joel's just going through and getting rid of some of the texture on the brick so that they sit nice and flat against the fireplace. Here, we're just making sure that we're getting the brackets level and marking those out. So this is the color that we chose and it was so hard for us to pick a color. We probably looked at hundreds of them, but we decided to go with a contrasting color and we really loved the dark, almost black look, but this has a slight blue undertone and it just turned out so perfect and so beautiful. This is the color Carbon Copy by Bear. And I did a lot of research on what the best paint would be to paint a fireplace since, especially around the firebox where this paint was going to be getting exposed to intense heat, I was worried about the paint being heat resistant. And so I talked with some paint professionals and they recommended an acrylic paint because it's designed to go on the exterior of homes and places where it gets really hot outside, like in Arizona. They're rated for quite a high heat and so it was perfect for painting the fireplace. just screwing in the brackets with some concrete screws to make sure this holds really well. And then Joel actually made a custom barn wood mantle for our fireplace and it turned out absolutely beautiful. He is super talented and so that's what you can see here. So that pretty much wraps up everything we did on the fireplace. It was so worth it, it's completely changed our living room. It just looks so clean and so beautiful, and I'm so excited to show you guys the before and after. you guys enjoy this transformation if you are doing a similar project and have any questions for me leave them down below and I'd be more than happy to help and thanks for watching guys